Have you been to an art show in a gallery? Yeah, where you, like, you walk around and look at all the pictures. Yeah, and sometimes you have a program and you look yeah. at the artist's work. Well, I'd like you to invite you to a private showing of my own artwork. Your artwork? There it is on the refrigerator. I don't have a catalog yet or any kind of descriptions, so you'll have to use your own imagination. The one on top is the only one I think I really have a title for, and that's Thin-Nosed Moose. Yeah, I can see it here with the antlers and everything. Mm -hmm. How about the green one over there? That looks like a uh, sea anemone with mm -hmm. all the tentacles. That's not what I had in mind, but I'll take your word for it. Okay. This one looks like something, you know, from your spinal cord. Yeah. Then, um, this one I do think sort of looks like a highway engineer who couldn't make up his mind. Yeah, I can see that, like all, right. all the roads are going nowhere. Mm -hmm. Here's my primitive period. Smiley face. Smiling, huh? Well, it's a happy household. I like that one. You like that one? You like that one best? Yeah. Well, after uh, you're smiling at my artwork, I think it's time for you to try your own hand at it. Here's what you do. The reason why we're doing this is because it's based on a scientific principle. You know that your mother uses bleach in the, wa in the wash, doesn't she? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why does she do that? To make the clothes whiter. Yes, to make the clothes whiter. And most people think, well, you put a chlorine-type bleach in, you know, it comes in a bottle like this, yeah. and, and they think that the chlorine does it. But the chlorine really breaks up the water. Do you know what the formula for water is? H2O? Oh, yeah. H2O. Well, that releases the O part, the oxygen. And it's the oxygen that actually does the bleaching. So you can oh. use it on construction paper. Here's a piece of construction paper. Here is some bleach. And here are your tools. Paint brushes, swabs. You can use fingers or anything else you want. Go ahead, put it on there once and see what happens. Okay, I'll just make a little dot. See how quickly it changes color? Yeah, it's turning lighter. Turning lighter. That's because the oxygen is released and it's making the green part into a colorless compound. So go ahead, you can do better than a corner, I think. Yeah, I know. You have anything in mind as you're doing this? Yes. You do? Yeah. You're gonna see if I can guess it? Yeah. P? No. Nope. An igloo? No. Nope. No? Uh, it's gonna be sort of hard. Sort of hard? A mushroom? Nope. I know. What? An octopus. No. Nope. <laughs> no, only it's, four arms so far. It's sort of like an octopus. Sort of like an octopus? And it's got little things up here. Little things like that? And it's jelly. I give up. It's a jellyfish. It's a what? A jellyfish. Ah, oh, I was right. Anyway, you can have a lot of fun. You try the various colors because not all colors will bleach. I found this brown and the, and the green and the purple and whatnot are, are best. Some of the colors don't bleach at all, but you can oh. use this scientific principle of releasing oxygen from water in order to do bleach art. Do you mind if I add this to my collection? Nope. Okay, I'll put it uh, right here. And I must say, I don't think it looks any better than mine. <laughs>